The Guggenheim UBS MAP Global Art Initiative is an immersive collaboration that is challenging a historically Western-centric view of art. We're expanding our collection with work from three regions, South and Southeast Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East and North Africa. The project brings together curators, artists, and influencers across cultures for thought-provoking exhibitions, artist-based educational programming, and online conversations about innovation in contemporary art. The MAP initiative is proving to be a really excellent model for us in terms of how we work around the world. It's a symbiotic relationship between New York and other institutions and cities around the world. The significance for the Guggenheim is that in this relationship we were able to really help extrovert the museum's curatorial staff. What I've been most impressed about is the ability of each curator, June Yap, Pablo Leon de la Barra, and Sarah Raza, to formulate theses or a thesis that allows them to acquire work for the collection and make really meaningful exhibitions that have an argument about how one should look at that region. The exhibition was produced to create dialogue, to be stimulating, to be challenging even, that it's not simply a presentation of artworks, but the opportunity to interact, to connect with audiences, with artists, and across different regions. We are now halfway through the Latin American phase of the MAP project. We did the exhibition in New York, which was uh, very well received by uh, the art community in general, public in general, but also by the Latin American community in, uh, in New York. For the artists, it has been really important because I think becoming part of the Guggenheim collection through the UBS MAP project is a recognition for their work. Working with Pablo is wonderful because I think he understands the conditions under which artists make work and he brings that to the museum rather than having the art be adapted to what the museum is. Pablo has the same vision that we have in Fundación Homex. We are showing in this project the collection from Guggenheim, but it's not at all seen like a project of acquisitions. It's more seen as a dialogue between two institutions. One of the distinctive hallmarks of the Guggenheim UBS MAP project is its emphasis on cross-cultural as well as museological and professional exchange. On the occasion of the exhibition presentation here in New York, we've been enabled to actually invite our education colleagues from the host venue regions where the exhibition will travel to next. When I went to New York to meet with the Guggenheim education team, they asked us what were our interests and we worked together to come up with a list of 10 different types of programs. At the closing of the exhibition, we were actually able to implement 10 out of 10 of the programs and we localized them in Hong Kong and reached a whole different type of audience. So through these exchanges, we're learning all kinds of new ways of thinking about and doing our practice that is reflexively impacting what we're doing here in New York in many positive ways. I think the future for museums around the world is that they have to work very closely together. They no longer can work solo. I think that way we can really better utilize the very limited resources in the art and then we do something really great for the people. What's most attractive in the MAP project is its global outreach and how it is looking at geographies in a very interesting way. In particular, migration of peoples, migration of ideas, art. This initiative is giving the curator an opportunity to bring not only their research and ideas, but also to dovetail that with artistic voices, but also exploring other critical and creative voices from the region who are actively looking at the way in which the world is shifting. In meeting curators and meeting meeting educators and writers, and certainly in meeting artists, really hard verities in New York start melting away, and new lenses are provided for people to look out, not only into the future, but even to reconsider the present and to some degree the past. UBS is a visionary partner, and without them we would never have been able to do anything on this level. And from the very, very beginning they understood our desire to work globally, to tell a larger, more complex story than we would otherwise about contemporary culture. 